question. Can you oh, tell yes. us about your work, the sifting that you're yeah, doing? Tell us about the course. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so tell us, uh, give us the background of it, the dirt that you're sifting, where did it come from, and what are you finding? Uh, the dirt we are sifting through originates from the southeastern corner of Temple Mount, which had a different topography up till the medieval period. Since the medieval period, all kinds of uh, restoration works carried out in different parts of the Temple Mount, where the surpluses were dumped there. It was a dumping place. So all what we have uh, is material from dumps, for, from uh, uh, garbage heaps. And actually, uh, lots of diamonds in that garbage heap. Uh, we have had uh, half a million finds. Uh, mainly mainly uh, small finds just for coins. We had over 6,000 coins from the 4th century BC up till modern times. We had artifacts of ancient uh, warfare, arrowheads, uh, slingshots, uh, and even bullets uh, from the 18th century and on. Uh, we had much jewelry. We had uh, flooring tiles and roof tiles and other fragments of architectural uh, units. Uh, we were able to reconstruct the paving pattern of the colorful uh, floors, stone floors of uh, Second Temple period, which uh, uh, are made according to the uh, standard of the Roman foot. 29.6 centimeters and all the tiles which are very small geometric in shape they were imported from Italy from North Africa from Greece uh, present-day Turkey etc we have uh, uh, seals and seal impressions in abundance including a seal impression of a uh, priestly figure uh, from a family mentioned in the Bible. It dates back 2600 years. It goes back to the time of Prophet Jeremiah to the 7th century BC and it has the name of the son of Emer. Uh, uh, the Emer people were the uh, the 16th course out of the 24 courses of priesthood that divided between them the worship in the temple. Uh, one gentleman in that very same period uh, mentioned in the Bible is Pashkur, son of Emer, who was the chief administrator of the temple. And he is the one who arrested Prophet Jeremiah because of political problems. Mm -hmm. And politics is not far into Jerusalem in any period. So we have much more. You are kindly asked to uh, to help us to publish and research this. Uh, if you find our uh, uh, funding sites uh, on the net, you can just and email me. They have my contact information. And she is in charge of that. And I mean, if you just spread the word, that would be really helpful. And you are kindly asked to spread the good, good word that it is possible, with all those problems, it is possible to visit the Temple Mount, and it is magnificent. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Tell, can you, one more question. Yeah. You've done such a humongous study of the, the history, which has made you understand much more of the identity of Israel. So where, where, where do we go from here with the Temple Mount? What's going to happen next? Uh, I'm an archaeologist dealing with the past, not with the future. <laughs> not with the future, so I cannot answer your question, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. And in Jerusalem, prophets had, uh, had, a, had a very bad fate. And it is also difficult to compete with uh, Jerusalemites like Isaiah or Jeremiah. Well, you've done a great job. We sure Thank you. Thank you for that.